After we enabled it, we got this. You can now configure the caption module for your site, this handy link. Now we could also find this link by typing caption in the filter list and going to configure or by using coffee by pressing alt D and typing in captcha and hitting enter. Okay, so this has a list of default forms that we can enable a captcha on and we can also add additional forms later on. You can see the captcha type that we can select. We can choose math or image. And this actually sets a default, so if we choose default under the challenge type for a particular form, then it will automatically change if we change what the default challenge type is up here. We'll set the default to be image, and now because the comment form for the blog entry is the only one that's being used, comments are disabled for all of the other node types, let's set the challenge type on that one only. We'll choose default challenge type. And while we're here, let's also add it to the user registration form. Now, we don't see any options here for setting which users get the caption, which don't. That's actually a permission that we'll need to add later. We can allow users to bypass CAPTCHA. So by default, everybody will see these CAPTCHAs unless we add that permission to a role that they have. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down and let's talk about these different options here. So it says add CAPTCHA administration links to forms. What happens when you check this is that whenever you see a form on your site, there will also be a link that says add CAPTCHA here. And using that can be easier than trying to figure out what the form ID is. You can always figure out the form ID by looking at the ID attribute of a form in the source code, but just clicking a link is gonna be a lot easier. Allow CAPTCHAs and CAPTCHA administration links on administrative pages means that even on internal pages like this one, where we have forms that we fill out, we see that add CAPTCHA link to it. By default, this isn't checked because normally we only want to display those links where we will be able to add a CAPTCHA on public facing forms. So nothing really in the administrative area. If for some reason a form changes structure, this might happen in the web form module, the CAPTCHA might end up kind of midway through the form if so, we can come back here and flush it, and it will bump it back down to the bottom of the form. Right now, add a description to the CAPTCHA is checked, and this will give the user a little bit more information about what a CAPTCHA is and why it's there. And then we have the description that gets added. So if we didn't want this to display, we could just uncheck this here. I'm going to scroll down here. We have the option to make the CAPTCHA case sensitive. So if, for example, there's a lowercase letter in the image that they're supposed to type and they type the uppercase letter, if it's case sensitive, that won't pass. If it's case insensitive, then that will be fine. We also have some options about what happens when a user submits a form multiple times or is in the process of submitting a multi-part form. This first option will always add a challenge. So regardless of how many times they filled out a CAPTCHA, Regardless of if it's a multi-part form, they're always gonna see the CAPTCHA. This next option omits the challenges if the form is part of the same form. So if it's part of a multi-part form, or if the form is going to be submitted several times because there's a preview involved. As soon as a user passes one CAPTCHA, they won't be shown it again during that form filling process. In this next option, the user only has to pass CAPTCHA once per the type of form. So if the user submits a comment form and successfully passes CAPTCHA during that process, and then they go to submit another comment, they won't be presented with a CAPTCHA the next time around. However, if they go to register or to log in, they may be presented with a CAPTCHA if that form is also CAPTCHA protected. This last option only requires the user to pass one CAPTCHA on the whole site in order to have access to whatever forms would be publicly accessible anyway. We have the option to log wrong responses, and if you're trying to track down where some spamming is coming from, this could be a good way to do it, but we'll leave it unchecked. And then we'll click Save Configuration.